have you ever set up on a spot because you could smell a rutting buck and there was no scrapes around you could find uh, they could smell him what do you think i can't say i've ever actually done that i've definitely been i've definitely walked through areas and like oh man it's it smells like deer right here you know mm-hmm. um but they can also I say the exact same thing. I, I've never set up on it because of that, but I have, uh, especially like in cattails where it gets contained. I've gone down a trail and you know, a rutting buck went down it cause you can smell it. But, um, I've smelt them from upwind or I mean, downwind, um, where you know that there, there's a buck around that's in rut and then see it later. Um, but that ain't too often, but every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys ever been elk hunting, you can smell elk from forever. Like they smell bad. Um, but anyway, if you've ever, sm- if you've ever hunted with Ricky, <laughs> <laughs> you also just, don't know. Just kidding. I probably smell worse than him. Yeah, probably He's Actually, pretty clean. You also don't know, like it's there could have been, there could have been some jack wagon walking through there earlier, spraying some aerosol tink 69 in the air or something. He like, I don't know. When I used to, uh, um, many years ago, probably like 30 plus years ago, whatever, I used to uh, work with um, Buck Masters a little. I used to go sit in their booths and work for them. Yeah. I used to give away uh, tinks with a membership, if you got a membership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I had cases of that stuff sitting around, and uh, it was going to expire. And I, uh, I, I gave it to this guy I hunted with who was a little bit... Uh, of a novice yeah and uh he took his hunting suit unbeknownst to me and he took like a whole case of these bottles that we had, like 25 bottles and poured it all over his suit to make his suit smell like a doing rut because he thought the bucks would come running and he, oh, reached no. over and he could never get that smell out of all of his stuff it was because he had it in his car and his yeah he got a <laughs> dopey after that have you ever used scents or anything like that, Dan? Like even when you were younger? I tried it when I was younger. And I actually yeah. even had some success with it. I can remember a, um, a real nice 10 coming into a, a doe drag. Um, I remember it following it the wrong way. Yeah. Um, and thinking it was pre- probably because I put the scent down over there and I drag it this way and it's probably getting weaker. Yeah. I don't know if that was actually why, but followed it the wrong way. Makes and sense. I had that. Uh, I called a buck into rattling once a pretty big buck and uh, I had a, a bottle of uh, dope out and it ran right to the bottle from down hmm. wind. Ran, ran right to it, put his nose to it and then blew and took off running like a rocket. <laughs> I never got yeah. a shot. But, uh, <laughs> um, that's about the uh, extent of it. Most of the time um, it didn't work or uh, or the deer were real leery of it or spooky. Yeah. Um, I don't really think you can put uh, deer scent in a bottle and fool them too much. I mean, you can fool any deer if a buck is worked up enough. Right. I mean, you could. You can almost walk up to them sometimes, right. you know? Yep. <laughs> exactly. If they're in the right mood, you can, you can fool them. But yeah. uh, for me uh, personally, um, I found that my thrill is from outsmarting them yeah. from um, figuring out where they're going to bed, where they're going to feed or where they're going to go to breed or whatever they're going to do and trying to put myself in the one tree you can be in to kill them. And um, when you do that with a buck that you're targeting, that's a, um, that's the pinnacle of success in, in what we do. Um, that's not everybody hunting. That's not everybody's thing. You know, some people love the the buck that just comes running in with steam running out of his nose to decoy or something. Mm-hmm. That's not me. Uh, to me, that would take away from the hunt. It's not my type of hunt. Right. Uh, some people like the um, camaraderie and just want to rotate through stands. And if a deer comes in, they shoot it. Some people are meat hunters. Um, for me, it's about picking an animal and hunting him down and uh, having success doing that. Um, and success doesn't have to be a kill, but to have encounters doing that, I think, uh, I think that's my style of hunting and, uh, the trickery, the sense, the, um, trying to make yourself invisible or, um, have no odor, 
you know, that just seems weird. It just doesn't seem like that's hunting. That's not beating a deer that's tricking him. And I'm not yeah. saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that's not my style. It's just not the way I enjoy hunting. Yeah, for sure. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever put out scent uh, before other than like some mock scrapes and stuff, but I never like hunt, you know, put out something for the rut or anything like that. Um, definitely haven't had it work if I, if I did do it when I was younger. Did you ever rattle one of them? Yeah, nothing. I, 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 two years ago, I rattled in like a pretty decent buck, um, but couldn't get a shot at him. And I used, I actually, I've had better luck with like real antlers, I guess. Also like a very, it's a very small, uh, pull of information on my rattling career, but, uh, that's, that's the time I did rattle, uh, deer is with a set of real antlers and I wasn't like banging them together real hard. It was more like kind of a, you know, softer thing, nothing crazy. Hey everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.